back to my channel. So today I thought I would share with you my favorite tea collection. I just made a cup of tea and that inspired me to film this video for you and share with you my favorite teas. So if you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get on with the video. So I have been drinking tea for quite some time and I'm more of a tea person than a coffee person. And I like organic teas, teas that don't have any caffeine in them. And my favorite brand, I would have to say, is by Yogi. But I have many teas in front of me here, so I will share a few of my favorites with you. So what I like to do is I have this small tea container that I have on my counter. And whenever I buy new teas, I'll just stick in my favorite ones. So it'll be easy access for me to grab whenever I want a cup of tea. And then I have this huge bin. This whole bin is full of tea. So again, when I get a new thing of tea, I'll just go ahead and open it put it in this big bin and then I will put a few in this small container on my countertop. So a few of my favorites are basically by Yogi. So to begin with, I like the bedtime tea by Yogi and I use this. It promotes restful sleep and I, as I'm getting older, I guess I'm having trouble sleeping. So this really helps to encourage good sleep. So I will drink this before I go to bed. And some of the ingredients are licorice, spearmint leaf, chamomile, cinnamon bark, and lavender flower, and passion fruit flower. So it's a very calming, good nighttime tea. So a second tea that I like to use to like calm down is a tea that's called Calming by Yogi. And this one um, just eases mild tension or nervousness. So, and this one has chamomile, licorice root, hibiscus flower, fennel seed, lemongrass, and rose hips and lavender flower. And I usually use this when I'm going to bed. Um, I usually don't take this during the day because it does kind of make you really calm. So I don't want to be calm during the day, but only at night. So I like to use this at night as well in combination with the bedtime tea. So another type of favorites of yogi teas I like are the detox blends and this is the normal detox by yogi and this has ginger root licorice root cinnamon bark dandelion root clove bud and japanese honeysuckle flower and a few other ingredients um, and I've started actually taking detox teas about 10 years ago or drinking detox teas because I had kidney stones and a friend recommended me to try this tea and it really helped. And then the next detox tea is the roasted dandelion spice. And this just has dandelion root and ginger root and clove bud and cinnamon bark and black pepper and then another detox tea is the berry detox and this one has all the same ingredients so and one of these has milk thistle root and that's a great um, herb to detox the kidneys and liver so anyway, I like all three of these. And next, I like the Breathe Deep by Yogi. This one supports respiratory health, 
So I usually drink this during the winter months or if I'm getting a cold. And then the next one I like to take during the winter months or if I'm getting a cold is Echinacea and it's immune support. So those are my favorite um, yogi teas that I'm loving. Next, I like loose teas, and this one is by the Republic of Tea, and it's a red tea, and it smells really good, and it's just red, <clears throat> loose. And what I like to do is use a strainer that looks like this, and I'll just put the tea in the strainer and put it in my teacup and let it strain. And if I'm using baked tea or loose tea, as I'm drinking the tea, I like to steep the tea as long as possible. Um, and I can actually get two to three cups of on one tea bag. And I like to just get all the full benefits of all the herbs and spices that are in the tea. Another loose tea that I like is this I got as a gift and it's by Testa Tea and it's a blueberry tea mm, and it smells so good. It has apple pieces, hibiscus, elderberries, and rose hips and blueberries. And again, I'll just use this strainer fill it up with the tea and let it steep. And I got this as a gift. And with that, I got this cute little tea strainer and it is a dolphin. So you just go ahead and fill it up and then the little dolphin legs sit on the lip of your cup and you can strain the tea that way. I also picked up this premium peony white tea and I haven't opened this yet, but I'm eager to try it, and I'll let you know how it tastes. But it's the ingredients is just peony white tea. So I like teas with just simple ingredients in them. Then <clears throat> a couple other ones. Again, this t tub is full of teas and. It would take me all day to go through every single one of them, but they're basically all the ones that I showed you. Um, there might be just a couple different ones, like I have a Good Earth Tea, and I have by Tazo a Sweet Wild Orange Tea, and then by Traditional Medicines, I have an Easy Now Tea, and this is just like a calm tea. It just reduces stress. I also have by Revolution an English bre breakfast tea. And this one is kind of neat. The tea bag, I haven't opened this one yet, but I will open it now and I'll show you. The tea bag is really cool. It's actually a pretty tea bag. It kind of looks like this and it smells really good and I don't know if early an early gray breakfast tea is a black tea but I guess I don't mind trying it so that is another tea that I have collected and then let's see I have by um, the Republic of Tea, this little tea container, and this is pink grapefruit green tea, and it just looks like this, little tea bags, and it smells really good. I just love the smell of tea. So let's see what else I have in here. Oh, I have another strainer. And I have a chai tea by Good Earth. And Good Earth is a pretty good company as well. Though this one is a black tea. So, um, but it has pepper, cinnamon, 
cloves and ginger. And let's see. I think that is basically it. I have another berry detox tea. I have a green tea with chamomile. And another green tea. And another berry detox tea. And another ginseng tea. So, anyway, I guess that is it for my tea collection. Though, I was going to show you this one, I guess. It's by Sleepy Time by Celestial Seasonings. Um, extra Sleepy Time tea. And I was watching Ingrid Nilsson's favorite video when she had mentioned this. And so I thought I would try it. And the ingredients are chamomile and it has valerian root. And those are just good calming herbs to let you go to sleep. So I know that was a short and sweet little video, but while I made my cup of tea, I just thought I would get on here and show you my favorite teas. So go ahead and leave in the comments below what your favorite tea is. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload a new video. So until my next video, hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and I'll see you later. Bye.